Christ. Come on, wrap it up. You great fuck. Go, get out of here, go. I think you'd agree the Greek town belongs to us now. Boardwalk Empire takes place during the Prohibition era of the 1920s. The show displays crime of all sorts. Featuring gangsters such as Al Capone and Lucky Luciano, you already know the show is packed with death. In this video, we are gonna take a look at my top 10 favorite death scenes from Boardwalk Empire. If you enjoy content like this, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more mob videos in the future. If you haven't seen Boardwalk Empire, here's your spoiler alert. It's your boy Evan Lattin Clear, I wanna thank you all for being here. Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite death scene is in Boardwalk Empire. Let's get into it man. Number 1. Nucky Thompson Kills Jimmy Darmody Nucky was basically a father to Jimmy, considering the Commodore was only in his life for a little while, but we'll get to that later on. Nucky and Jimmy's relationship was the reason this death scene was somewhat sad, but my man Jimmy did have it coming. Nucky told him if he was up to something, he would find out and he would ruin him. Then Jimmy gets Al Capone to put a hit on Nucky that failed. Yeah, Jimmy made his bed. Up until the end of season 2, we as fans are kind of waiting for Nucky to get his hands dirty, and in this scene, he finally does. He wasn't half a gangster anymore, like Jimmy said he was in season 1. Funny, Nucky becomes a gangster by killing the person who said he was half a gangster. Look, you can't be half a gangster, Nucky. Not anymore. I always wondered if Nucky would have been better off keeping Jimmy around instead of killing him. I feel like Jimmy's killing skills could have helped Nucky in his war against Chip Rossetti, but let me know in the comments if y'all think Nucky made the right move by killing Jimmy or if he should have kept him around like he did Eli. Number 2. You guessed it, Jimmy Darmody kills the Commodore. That entire situation, with him getting Jillian pregnant when she was 12 and having Jimmy, and then how Jillian kisses Jimmy on the lips? The whole shit is just wrong, bro. Nucky used to work for the Commodore, just like how Jimmy worked for him. So Nucky would mention that the Commodore would just pick which girl he wanted regardless of age, which tells me Jillian isn't his only victim. And yeah, this dude just had to go. I found it very fitting that Jimmy was the one who killed him. The scene was crazy because had Commodore not interfered, Jimmy might have killed Jillian. Jimmy later told Nucky how he always thought about killing him and how he should have done it sooner. But for Jimmy, I guess it was better late than never. Number 3. Tonino Kills Jip Rossetti I mean, god damn, y'all. Talk about getting stabbed in the back by your right-hand man. And it's crazy because, yeah, Tonino was Jip's right-hand man, but even he had a reason to want to kill him. Jip Rossetti was one of my favorite characters in the show. An extremely violent gangster with no filter. Anytime he was on screen, it was always a good scene. But honestly, this man was an absolute nightmare to work with or work for. I mean, Jesus Christ, the poor car mechanic who was just trying to help Jip out. That was our first taste of his psychotic behavior. Nucky said it perfectly. He could find an insult in a bouquet of roses. He even treated his own men like shit. He killed Franco for talking about the waves like, come on, Jip. Franco was into Nino's family. So when Nucky and Eli made the deal with Tonino, his life for Rossetti's, I don't think it was too hard of a decision for Tonino to make. Number 4. 
Richard Harrow kills Manny Horvitz. Richard Harrow, in my opinion, was the boogeyman of the boardwalk. This dude told Nucky he killed 63 people, and that was before he took out Rossetti's crew and many more. So it wouldn't be far-fetched to say that his kill count might be over or close to triple digits. He told his wife Julia's father that he stopped counting how many people he had killed. Manny was a tough character who survived a few attempts on his life. He knew his way around and taking him out wouldn't be easy, unless you're Richard Harrow. Manny killed Jimmy's wife Angie, attempting to kill Jimmy. Richard was Jimmy's best friend, so if anyone was going to take out the man responsible for Angie's murder, it was going to be him. Richard Harrow really was a good man at heart, but an absolute killing machine. I could do a list of his top 10 kills alone, so let me know in the comments which one of Richard Harrow's kill scenes is your favorite. His name, his address, he runs things. What? Tell me, close your eyes. Number five, the death of the DOSEO brothers. I want y'all to look at this closely. How they set up the DOSEO brothers for this death scene is absolutely phenomenal. Michael Williams gave us a little Omar feeling from The Wire through Chalky White and seeing it on screen is absolutely amazing. I don't know about cars, but uh, I think these four fives be the full house. Hey, yo, banker, cash me out, yo. <laughs> One more thing. How you know I drive a packet? I mean, that shit is so dope, man. Rest in peace, Michael Williams. He really killed every role I've ever seen him in. The death scene, however, it's the uh, first group killing, I guess we can say, right? <laughs> Nucky finally finds out that the DOSEO brothers have been in cahoots with Arnold Rothstein, and Chalky finds out that they hung his boy. You really get to see the cold part of Chalky White during this scene. And I believe it's the last scene of the first season where the rest of the brothers are killed, with Nucky making a speech in the background. They got the drums playing while the brothers are getting killed and hunted down. Man, the shit is so dope. Number six, Chalky White and daughter Maitland killed Dunn Pernsley. All of Chalky's misfortunes in the final two seasons started with Dunn Pernsley. And yeah, when he met daughter, but when Dunn killed Dickie, Chalky was basically fighting a losing battle the rest of the show. He was just not well equipped enough and didn't have the resources to take on Dr. Narcisse. And you know what? Thank God for my girl daughter Maitland cause if it wasn't for her, my man Chalky might have been a goner. But honestly, I never trusted Dunn and I knew he wasn't loyal. There was just no way he was gonna forget that ass whooping in jail. Done. Number 7. Eli Thompson kills Agent Knox. This was just a straight up fight to the death. Probably one of the more brutal murders on the show. I gotta say though, man, I really enjoyed watching Knox and Eli's story play out. They complimented each other very well. Knox really went to Eli's house pretending to be Mr. Balanchuk. Knox put all of his chips on Eli being able to set up Nucky, and of course Nucky finds out and exposes Eli as a rat. If it wasn't for Will coming in, Nucky might have killed Eli. That basically forced Eli's hand. It was either kill Knox, or him and most likely his son would go to jail. And well, we know which choice Eli made. Number 8. Mike Malone 
aka Mike D'Angelo, kills Nelson Van Alden. I mean, this is one of the craziest scenarios in the show. D'Angelo is an agent, so he shouldn't be killing anybody anyway. And yeah, Van Alden was wanted by the feds, but I did not think D'Angelo had the balls to execute him like that. Nelson Van Alden had one of the craziest journeys in a TV show that I've probably ever seen. He went from pro he officer to fugitive, then to Dino Banyan's flower boy slash bodyguard, and then he lands in Chicago with a Capone. Y'all know we all have those characters we start off the show hating, but then we end up rooting for? I ain't gonna lie, I, I wanted Van Alden to come out on top somehow, but D'Angelo put an end to that. D'Angelo, I think, also knew the feds wouldn't really give a shit about Nelson being dead. Number 9. The Death of Chalky White Ugh, oh, man, this, 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 oh, man, this shit was sad, man. I do have to be honest, though. I think Chalky made the wrong move pursuing Dr. Narcisse. He basically made a deal with Dr. His life for daughter Maitland. But like Chalky said, he wouldn't be around to see if Narcisse actually kept his word. And Narcisse couldn't be trusted at all. Daughter even told Chalky that. I think Chalky should have stayed in Atlantic City under Nucky's protection. Then maybe after some time and building up some resources, he could have went after Narcisse, but... He was in love with Maitland and literally gave his life for hers. It's just ironic. If he did stay in Atlantic City and build his resources, Doctor would have gotten killed by the Italian mob and his problems would have been dealt with. Number 10. Tommy Darmody kills Nucky Thompson. The kill that everyone was waiting for. I mean, Steve Buscemi killed the role of Nucky Thompson. And there was a part of me that wanted him to survive, but the story was just better with him getting shot at the end. But by Tommy Darmody? I got some questions, and I hope y'all can help me out. Like, how would Tommy even really remember who Nucky was? The last time we see Tommy before he became Joe Harper, he was a kid, and Jillian tried to visit them at Richard and Julia's house. A few episodes after that, Jillian gets arrested for admitting the murder, so who told Tommy about Nucky killing Jimmy? Before killing Nucky, Tommy mentioned Jillian would talk about him, and he couldn't tell whether it was love or hate, but didn't mention Jillian telling him he killed his dad, which I'm sure he would've. We see all interactions with Jillian and Tommy when he was a kid, and she never says Nucky killed Jimmy. Only other person I could think of would be Richard Harrow, and he died in season 4. And even if he didn't, I don't see him telling Tommy that Nucky killed Jimmy. So, please y'all, in the comments, let me know how you think Tommy came to find out about Nucky. And besides all of that, Tommy had so many more opportunities to kill Nucky than on the boardwalk in front of half the damn city. When Nucky gave him the thousand dollars in his office and told him to get away from him, yeah, that probably would have been a better time too, but you know what, I guess it was fitting to see Tommy kill him and get revenge for his dad, but I would love to know everyone's thoughts on the matter. Being from New Jersey, Boardwalk Empire is very cool to me. This was my first rewatch of the series and I picked up so much more and I can't wait to bring y'all more videos about the show. With that being said, I'ma wrap this video up. I would like to thank y'all for taking the time to listen to me blabber about the boardwalk. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more of my videos in the future. I would really appreciate it. Your boy Evan Ladd and Clear, out of here.